I'm a little bit afraid I'm about to be redundant. So um, as both a politician and a lawyer, I need you to pretend I'm interesting and laugh appropriately. Okay? <laughs> um, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to Gretchen. Uh, Lowndes County, as she mentioned, was one of my first stops. I was, I'm a veteran. I'm a little bit longer in my job than Mike. I, I was elected in November of 2010. Um, and the day I was elected, five of my colleagues left, so I don't really know if those things are connected. Um, but what we did after that was, instead of whining about the switchers, we went to go find out why they left. And it turns out it's all about them and not about you. Um, because Democrats elected Amy Carter and yes. Ellis Black. Yes. Democrats elected Bob Hammer and Jerry Jones. Democrats elected uh, Bubba Epps and more. I'm sorry? Yeah, I try not to think about that. Um, but we, Democrats, uh, these, these folks were elected by Democrats. It wasn't that their constituents changed. Their constituents, you guys didn't change. You didn't change your minds. November 2nd, November 10th, you weren't different. The only thing that was different was that they wanted more power. I hope they've enjoyed it. Because it is my mission, it is Mike's mission, it is Jeff's mission to take Georgia blue, and that means taking back South Georgia. Because South Georgia is blue. And here's how we know it. Because in 2010, when Forsyth County was voting for Nathan Deal, you all elected Roy Barnes by a five-point margin. You don't elect Roy Barnes and accidentally elect a Republican. So Amy Carter, friend of mine, classmate when we came in together, and I will be sad to see her go, but I will be happy to help her on her way. <laughs>